So today is going to be a pretty chill video because, as you can see, I'm in my glasses and I'm just wearing a t-shirt. Hair is kind of going crazy. But I decided that I wanted to make a different kind of video, something, um, there's a purple light. <laughs> oh, look at how messy my room is. Let's not look at that. Um, but I decided that I wanted to make a different type of video because I did say that I wanted to branch my channel out and not just do beauty and fashion all the time so here's my attempt at something different but I did want to tell you guys an embarrassing story that I have and trust me I have so many like if you had to count the number of embarrassing stories I had it would just be in my everyday life like every day something embarrassing and awkward happens to me and I don't know how to handle it but just just happens just one of those things that you gotta gotta go through but what I wanted to talk about today was <clears throat> the dreaded period stories like if, if anybody says they like having their period they're lying they're lying you can't have like having blood gushing out of you 24 7 and when you sneeze you have to hold it in because you don't want the blood that <sighs> it's like it's a struggle the struggle it is and you know boys don't understand but hopefully the story will help you understand how how tough it is how difficult it is to be a girl and uh, just a little just just a little sneak peek on on what it's like having a period because sometimes it's a thought like you think about what it would feel like having blood gushing out of you but then you can't fully know how horrible it is until it actually happens to you and until you feel it and experience it and then something embarrassing happens because of it and you're just dying on the inside and it's just it's it's pretty bad let's just let's get into the story okay so basically i'm in math class sitting algebra 2 you know freshman year i'm ready to start the year out strong and and pause right here let me let me give you a little background information my period is extremely irregular i never know when it's coming sometimes it could it could just not come for three months and sometimes it could come twice in one month so i literally i have no idea when it's coming and that is just that is just one of the many many problems of having a period like some girls they're perfectly like right on time like they, they're supposed to have it September 20th and they have it on September 20th but for me my period calendar is so messed up it can't even tell me it it literally I open it and it says your period is so irregular we can't even tell you what when it's coming like we stop trying to guess because because it just doesn't come when we tell it to so that's that's a little background and by that you can probably already guess what's gonna happen on this glorious day of algebra this bad lady. okay so let me just tell you i was sitting in math class all chill you know copying down the function and you know i'm finding the domain and the range and all is good until suddenly i feel something in my stomach and if you're a girl and if you've had your period before, you know that feeling that I'm talking about. It's that feeling when you feel your insides drop down to your outsides because the blood is coming out of you from your uterus lining. If you have health before, you know what I'm talking about. And I just basically just was sitting in math and I had that feeling. And I, my first thought, I was like, oh snap. This is not good. This is code red, literally, code red. Get, get it, code red. <laughs> but I was literally sitting there, and I was like, "This is code red. I need a doctor." But again, because my period is so irregular, I get that feeling often. And whenever I do go to the bathroom and check, you know, it's it's nothing. It's like it was just a feeling, and it wasn't the actual period starting. But, you know, that time, I wanted to be safe. I wanted to make sure that everything was fine and good. So, you know, I wanted to check my seat. Just see, you know, if it was gushing out or something. If it was, like, spotting on my seat. And I'm in class, so I can't just 
abruptly just get up and look at my seat like, oh, no, it's good. Up oh, there is no blood there. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Because that would just be way too obvious, you know? So, me being the smart freshman I was, I... I came up with this ingenious plan of um, doing the little scoot and check. So it, it basically went down a little, a little something like this. Like, like, oh my gosh, what was that? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, it's not. It's not. It's, it's, it's just. Oh, oh, let me start writing this way and quick check. Oh, can't tell. Oh, let me start scooping. Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I quickly sat right back down so nobody from next to me could notice that I was looking at my seat and I saw a little smear of, of red. It was, it was, it was there. There it was mocking me, laughing at me, looking at me like, ha ha ha, here I am on your seat. So, you know, that was, that was fun. I decided I didn't want to be that person who, you know, goes to math class and realize they have their period on the seat and then just get up and leave for the next student to sit down on their blood. So I decided to console with Aaliyah. And while we were doing her classwork, I just kind of was like, Psst, Aaliyah. And you know, she turned around, she's like, what's wrong, Joyce? And I was just like, I think I just had my period on my seat. And then Leah was like, oh my gosh. She's like, um, she's like, uh, do you have anything? Like, I was like, no, because I was not expecting it to come. And then she was like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And she was like, you should probably tell my student. And I was like, okay, you know, maybe if I just go up there casually. Because I was wearing jeans. So you couldn't tell from, like, my bottom, like, my back bottom side that I had my period. At least I wasn't wearing white jeans, you know, thankfully. Let's look on the bright side of this story. The, the bright side. So, you can probably... You probably know what's gonna happen. But I'm like, okay, you know, let's go. Let's go tell Miss Susie what happened. Maybe she can send me to the nurse because I honestly, um, like when I had my period, like my stomach hurts, I get cramps, and it's just not good. So I kinda knew that like after that class I was gonna go home. So I wanted to ask her to go to the nurse and, you know, get that seat cleaned up. So I walk up to the class and, you know, slow because I still, I wasn't sure if, like, maybe they could see, like, a little dark spot on my jeans. But I decided to take the, the, the leap of uh, faith and uh, just went for it. I walked up and I was like, um, Miss Susie. And she was like, yes, Joyce. I said, I think I might have had uh, my period. And her face was just like, oh, 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 of course, of course, sweetie, of course, and then she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, do you need to go to the bathroom or something, I was like, um, yeah, maybe the nurse, and I was like, and, um, I think I got a little on the seat, and then her face was like, oh, oh, that's, that's just, just fine, and she was, she was, she was trying to be really, really, like, sweet and nice about it, and I appreciate that, but the thing about Miss Susie is, Miss Susie talks so loud, so loud, this, this Miss Susie, she's like, like, she, she's not someone you want to tell your secrets to, because she will, she will repeat it really loudly, and basically, that's what happened to me, so she was like, oh, she's like, your period, your, oh, oh, so, Joyce, it's nothing to worry about, everybody has their periods on their seat, you know, it's just, it's a normal fact in life, it happens to everyone, and everybody working on their math homework just goes, period on the desk and they they're just all staring at me and I'm like whoo I'm feeling feeling the heat feeling the embarrassment coming on and make matters worse she decided to uh to uh, quarantine my desk basically the worst part she she asked me to drag my seat up, so it was basically like the, the dragging seat of shame that you saw in Pitch Perfect. That was basically me, but in math class, with period on my butt, and period on my seat, and period everywhere, and I was just feeling the blood rushing, as I had to drag my seat over to the front of the, of the classroom, and I just put it up there in the front, and she was like, it's okay, Joyce, everybody, everybody has their period on their desk, it's a normal thing, it's okay don't feel bad and I literally I was just like just, 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 just let me go to the nurse 
And that was, that was basically my entire experience. And I had to leave. And my sweet, dear, dear friend, Aaliyah, she told me that everybody was asking afterwards, you know, where I was because it was math and it was like second period. So people knew I was in school and first period and they were all wondering where I was. And then they were just like, oh, Josh just went home sick. But really, the story was I went home from the embarrassment of periods, embarrassment and cramps and hormones flying everywhere. And it was just horrible. And I think I, I would have died right in that moment because she she literally had me drag my own my, my own bloody seat up to the front. Miss Susie made me drag my bloody seat up. And it was it was literally just silence as as my my chair was like <coughs> like just imagine pitch perfect but then imagine blood on the seat and and that that was that was the scenario that I was in. That was the predicament. That that was Oh, that was a pretty embarrassing story. Yeah. She quarantined my desk. That's what she did. So, I hope you guys enjoyed my little story. And if you guys did and you would like to hear more embarrassing stories, because I know I love knowing that other people have these awkward, embarrassing moments and I'm not the only one, because I honestly feel like 99% of the time, I'm always doing something awkward and embarrassing, or I'm always just, I'm like the only one who, who situations like that just happen to me, like, like nothing, like, it's a daily thing, it's a daily thing. So if you guys enjoyed, please do tell me down in the comments below, give this video a big thumbs up so that I know to make more of these videos as well, and if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel, because then you'll be updated, then you'll be updated on when I make new videos, and you can laugh a little bit, or learn how to look presentable when you're going through your embarrassing moments, because, girl, I know, psh, we all have those moments, and um, sometimes some some awkward moments are are uh, amplified, like mine. But I do hope you all enjoy, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.